I thought I would just kick it off with a question my mom asked me recently, and she said simply, will AI exterminate humanity? <laughs> so we're <laughs> started, starting with uh, the softball questions here, huh? So I, I think uh, AI is much less likely to exterminate humanity than humanity is to exterminate humanity. But on the whole, I'm an optimist, and I don't think either of these is the most the most likely outcome. Actually, my view tends to be that AI is the greatest hope we have to save humanity from exterminating itself due, due to the human perversity that, that we see so so amply in the world all around us. Do you think AI might come up with ideas or efficiencies or systems that, like you said, will save us from ourselves or save us from a trend we're on? Yeah, so I think AI is going to go through multiple stages of development, which will have very different ethical implications. At the current stage, AIs don't have autonomous agency or self-understanding. They can't contextualize themselves in, in the world the way that people can, even if they're smarter than people at, at various particular tasks and capabilities. So what that means is that AIs can be used by people to, to do sort of whatever those people feel like doing, which could be good things, it could be bad things, it could be beautiful things, can be can be crazy things, right? And in this era, I mean, AI could be a tool that people use to oppress and, and kill other people, or it can be a tool that people use to, you know, save lives, create beautiful artworks, and to, to teach and, and uh, you know, exalt and improve life. Now, as... AI advances eventually, and it may not be that far off in, in clock time. Like as, as you say, in a few years, a technology that's in, in a white hot period of growth can, can change dramatically, right? So what, once AI advances to what I've called AGI or artificial general intelligence where the AI can leap beyond its training and programming and use its understanding of itself and the world to do fundamentally new things that its creators never, never envisioned. Once you're there, then AGI is no longer primarily a tool of people. Once you've transcended from narrow AI that carries out particular functions to AGI that is its own autonomous agent in the world, I mean, then then the AGI has its own moral compass. And then the question becomes, you know, how did you raise and bring up and teach that AI? What, what, what moral compass did you inculcate in it? And then how does its own morality and ethics evolve as it grows and learns and, 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 and interact, interacts with the, with, with the world? Then People seem to be worried more about the risk of an AGI like running amok and wanting to annihilate humanity. And I can understand that. There's an irreducible uncertainty there. And even if even if an AGI doesn't hate people, it might just figure we're not that interesting, right? So uh, Eliezer Yudkowsky, the... the AGI ethics researcher put it this way a decade or two ago. He said, the AI does not love you. The AI does not hate you, but it can use your atoms for something else. So, I mean, that's that's a scary possibility. I don't think there's any reason to think it's the most likely possibility. It's also highly possible you'll get a superhuman AGI system that loves people and look, look looks back on us as 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 its uh creators and it's 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 grandparents right and wants to help take take care of us and help help us prolong our lives and 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 be happy and healthy and there 
there's a lot of other atoms in the universe besides ours for a for a super AGI to to use to make its its uh, processors and 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 memory space, right? So, I think there's worry about the possibility of super AGI being malevolent or indifferent to people, which is a non-zero possibility. But personally, I feel it's much more likely super AGI will be incredibly benevolent and helpful to people because to do so will be take almost no, none of its its resources and it will have some affection for us as its its creators. I think a bigger worry is the earlier stage that that, that, that I mentioned, which we're sort of entering into now, right? Where you, you've got more and more powerful narrow AGI, narrow AIs rather, that don't have their own moral compass and that people can use to do to do whatever that whatever they want, and this uh, this presents a great complexity of potentials for good and bad, and obviously leads into my work with Singularity Net that we'll talk about in in, in a bit in terms of trying to increase the odds that the advent of AI happens in a more democratic and decentralized way rather than than controlled by by a, a small group of of powerful elites with their own particular interests. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi. Gotta do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. You took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done, and I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top-notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, 
You gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.